in this illustration we will analyze the water pressure in a reservoir. Here the figure shows a large water reservoir of depth h and on one side of them a horizontal pipe of diameter d is closed by a plug. Here we can see in the figure the pipe is at a depth h below the water surface and we are required to find the friction between plug and pipe wall and the volume of water coming out from pipe and time t if the plug is removed. Here we can directly write the pressure acting on plug will be here we can write if this is the plug then from the right side it is experiencing p atmosphere and from the left side in this dam wall we can say as here water is filled the pressure will be p and the value of p will be p atmospheric plus h rho g as it is at a depth h below the surface of water in this situation. So, here we can see the net pressure acting on the plug will be towards right and this will be equals to if this is p 1 we write it p 1 this will be p 1 minus p atmospheric that will be the net outward pressure acting on the plug. This we can write as net outward pressure. So, when we substitute p 1 this is simply h rho g and if we calculate the force of friction on plug this will be equal to the force due to pressure of water. As friction is keeping this plug as a at rest, so water is the excess pressure exerted by water on it that will be balanced by friction. So, this can be simply given as h rho g multiplied by its cross sectional area, we can write as pi d square by 4. So, the value here will be pi h rho g d square divided by 4, that is one result of the problem. And uh, we are required to find the volume of water coming out from pipe in time t if plug is removed. So, we can say if uh, we consider the area of uh, this narrow tube is negligible, in that case negligible compared to the total area of the dam. So, here we can say after plug is removed, velocity of efflux will be this we already studied this is written as root 2 g h by Torricelli's theorem we already calculated it. So, this implies here we can get the flow rate of water at which it will come out will be equals to velocity multiplied by cross sectional area which is pi d square by 4 multiplied by root 2 g h. And this implies uh, we if we calculate a volume flowing out in time t is this volume we can write uh, as this is the flow rate multiplied by time. So, this can be simply written as pi d square by 4 multiplied by root 2 g h multiplied by t that is the result of this problem.